The Lumix BGH-1 includes a 2.5 millimeter remote control port that allows you to control a variety of functions on the camera from a selection of devices. Today we've got a Manfrotto controller hooked up here that is plugged into that port and will allow us to control actually everything that can be controlled over that 2.5 millimeter port. It's worth noting that many Panasonic cameras use a control protocol called Control-P or Control Panasonic. The BGH-1, however, does not use that protocol. It uses a protocol that is common among many other cameras. On your screen right now, you're seeing a list of devices that are known to support the BGH-1 as of early 2021. Let's start by looking at this Manfrotto controller and see what it can do. I currently have a 45 to 175 powered zoom lens on the BGH-1. And over here, I've got another little lens that is the 14 to 42, also a powered zoom lens. And since these are powered zoom lens, that means I can zoom them from the controller. So let's start with that. On the handle, I have a rocker on the side to switch between zoom and focus mode. It's currently in zoom. So now as I roll the controller, you can see that we are able to zoom the camera in and zoom it back out again. And the way this works is the farther I push it, the faster it goes. So if I push it just a little bit, it'll go slowly. And if I push it farther, it'll zoom in faster. From this controller, I can even control the maximum speed. So if I didn't want it to go too fast, I could turn that down and that would allow me to slow down the zoom a little bit there. I can also control the iris from here. You'll see there's an iris plus and iris minus button. If I push and hold those buttons, it will actually open and close the iris on the camera for me. Next up, we are in autofocus mode right now. However, if I switch the camera to manual focus, then I can use the controller to control focus manually. Let's go ahead and do that. I'll go ahead and jump into the menu and switch the camera over to manual focus. And now as I adjust the rocker, it's first set to zoom, but then if I flip the switch on the side of the rocker, it is now set to change the focus. So I can refocus the camera from the controller as well. Finally, I can start and stop recording from the controller and the controller even has a tally light on it so that I know that recording has started or stopped. Let's take a look at that. If I push the button here that says record start stop, I simply push that we can see the record light on the front of the camera, as well as the tally light on the remote control is now blinking. I'll push that button to stop it. And there we go, recording has stopped. So that concludes everything that can be controlled over the 2.5 millimeter port. Next up, we're gonna look at a couple of pan tilt options that are kind of a lot of fun, All right? I'm gonna reset this set, I'll be right back. Next up is a product called the Multicam Zilla. Multicam Zilla is a pan tilt head, a remote controller that's actually a Logitech game controller, and an interface to go between them. Now, I want to point out as well that the Multicam Zilla does not actually need the PT head. You can use a different interface with this controller and control a DJI gimbal, which is pretty cool, making the gimbal your PT head. But for now, we're going to go ahead and control the PT head. To do that, I simply grab the remote control and start moving the joystick. And here you can see I can pan it. I can tilt it and I can move it all over the place. I was never much of a gamer, so let's see if I can get this thing pointing at the right part of the target here. Now that I've acquired the target here, let's take a look at what we can control in the camera itself. Again, this is plugged into the camera through the 2.5 millimeter port. So from here, I can do things like zoom the lens. We're using that same power zoom lens we had on there before. So I can zoom. The camera is in manual focus mode, so I can focus as well by simply moving the joystick one direction or the other while push down it does activate the focus. With the D-pad here, I can change the aperture of the lens. So let's go ahead and close it down a little bit there. I can start and stop recording by triple tapping on this button here, which will start recording. We see it indicated on the screen as well as the tally lights on the camera. And then to stop that, I'll just push the button three times again. And that's the Multicamzilla, an affordable pan tilt head option, which again, you can combine with your gimbal to use that as a pan tilt head. All right, we have one more to look at, something really big and heavy duty. Let's check that one out. I'll be right back. And finally, that brings us to the Salray Works PT head. This thing is a beast. It is designed to control a much larger and heavier camera rig. And as you can see on here, we've got a pretty good sized rig set up. I'm actually controlling a third party lens now. This is an EF mount and it is connected to the BGH-1 via the Metabones EF to M43 mount T. Now this is important because that adapter will actually allow communication between the camera and lens, allowing us to control all of the functions that we've seen so far today, depending on the controller that you're using. If you're using the Manfrotto controller that we started with, for example, you can actually control everything that you saw in that first demo with this lens through this adapter on the BGH-1. But now we've got it mounted on the Salray Works along with this big controller here. Let's see how this works. Let's start off with the pan tilt functionality. You can see here that we have full control over the camera, which is just really cool and fun to do. 
And then over here, we have our zoom and focus control. I can zoom it by pulling this back and forth, and you can see that we are zooming the lens there. And then with the focus button activated here, I can turn this knob to get precision manual focus on our shot. And that's everything that you can control via the 2.5 millimeter remote port on your Lumix BGH-1. Panasonic.